Hello, and welcome to Falcon TV. My name is Jackson Gatins, along with the rest of the FTV crew. Congratulations to those on the 2020 prom court. Remember, if you wish to be king or queen, you will need to send in a digital poster with two pictures and a brief explanation why you should be king or queen in 250 words or less by Friday at 529. We want to congratulate Emily Tunney and the Tunney family on their decision to attend and play softball at New Jersey City University. Normally, this would be in front of the Wall of Fame, but the pandemic has altered the way things are done. However, the achievement is still a great one. For her family, it was an honor and privilege to be there at her signing, especially during these stressful and difficult times. Even though Emily's senior season was cut short, her impact on the program will, will resonate for years to come. Her hard work and passion is something athletes will try to emulate. Again, congratulations to Emily Tunney, Tunney and her family. The graduates of the class of 2020 can be celebrated with commencement ceremonies in New Jersey, but they will have to wait until summer. Governor Phil Murphy announced on Twitter Tuesday morning that graduation ceremonies can be held outdoors starting July 6th. Murphy said he hopes that with continued social distancing, the state will be in a spot come July to safely allow ceremonies. He said some larger schools may need to hold multiple ceremonies on several days. Social distancing measures intended to slow the spread of the novel coronavirus must remain in place, Murphy said. Any graduation, including college, high school, and other ceremonies, can be held. More guidance is expected to come on Wednesday, Murphy said. Schools are closed to in-person learning through June because of the outbreak, but this is the latest easing of the, uh, easing of the restrictions, which have included opening parks and golf courses along with the state's beaches. People mostly practice social distancing at beaches, parks, and other public spaces during the Memorial Day weekend, Murphy said. The reports from across our state were overwhelmingly positive, Murphy said. Thank you for taking to heart your greater responsibility to your communities, your families, and your fellow New Jerseyans. Yep, we may not be in school, but it doesn't mean we're still not doing things that we normally do. And Ocrest is having its virtual senior takeover day for 2020. Seniors, reach out to your favorite OHS staff member and tell them you'd like to take over. Staff, reach out and invite one senior to be your takeover. Get creative and post ways to share your similarities. Ever since it was announced well over a year ago, Netflix's Space Force has sounded like a TV lover's dream. Based on President Trump's recently launched military branch of the same name, the show stars Steve Carell and was created with his office collaborator Greg Daniels with the intention of bringing their workplace comedy vibe to a whole new part of the universe. Now it seems like those TV lover dreams are coming true. Yesterday, Netflix released a series of images from the show and announced that the series has both a release date, May 29th, and a new previously announced cast member, Lisa Kudrow. According to Netflix, Space Force will focus on Mark Arnard, a decorated pilot with dreams of running this, the Air Force. That plan, though, gets shifted when he is chosen to run the military's new 6th branch. Skeptical but dedicated, Mark un uproots his family and moves to a remote base in Colorado when he and a colorful team of scientists and spacemen are tasked by, by the White House with getting American boots on the moon, again, in a hurry and achieving total dom dominance. The streaming service said in a statement, Kudrow will be playing Carell's wife, someone who has sublimated parts of herself to her husband's career for two decades. But as he takes on his biggest challenge, she is growing in a different direction. Sounds like a blast. Tesla chief executive Elon Musk announced Saturday that the car manufacturer's headquarters will move to Texas or Nevada immediately. Musk's announcement comes after statewide restrictions in California forced Tesla factories to stay closed amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Dallas officials responded to Musk's tweets over the weekend, saying that Dallas would be the perfect spot for the car manufacturer's headquarters. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins made a play for Tesla, saying that Dallas is the fastest growing metropolitan area in the country and is ranked first in job creation. Jenkins also said he knew the perfect spot for Tesla headquarters in South Dallas. Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson also replied to Musk's tweet saying that Dallas will be the first major city in Texas to rebound from the COVID-19 outbreak. Like Jenkins, Johnson also suggested that Musk move the Tesla headquarters to South Dallas. Musk has stated that he is also considering the Tulsa, Oklahoma as a possible relocation site for Tesla. This year, students may need extra help to make college a reality. Because of the coronavirus crisis and sky-high unemployment rates, fewer than half of families feel confident in their ability to meet the cost of higher education. According to lender Sally May, about 69% of parents and 55% of students 
entering college in the fall said COVID-19 has impacted their ability to pay for school. According to a separate poll of 6,500 plus high school seniors and their families by nitrocollege.com, a site that helps students and par parents navigate college admissions and financial aid, already near Already, nearly 40% of parents have tapped their child's college fund to help at expenses due to the economic fallout of the, pande of the pandemic, according to another report by LendingTree. Yet, yeah, fewer families have applied for financial aid. The Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA, serves as the gateway for, for all federal money, including loans, work, study, and grants, which are the most desirable kind of assistance. This year, the number of applications is down 2.8% from last year, with roughly 55,000 fewer high school seniors applying, according to the National College Attainment Network, in, in ordinary years. High school graduates missed out on billions in federal grants because they don't fill out the FAFSA. Many families mistakenly assume they won't qualify for financial aid and don't bother to apply. Meanwhile, college costs are skyrocketing. Tuition and fees plus room and board for a four-year private college averaged $49,870 in the 2019-2020 school year. At four-year in-state public colleges, it was $21,950 according to the college board. So for myself and the rest of the FTV crew, thanks for watching and have a great day.